One of the biggest reasons why I chose a Keychron K2V2, it's because of these keycaps. I fell in love with it when I saw it. I love the front, the shape, everything about it. And it makes me reminisce to the times of those classic arcade consoles. Now that the keycaps is here, I'm so excited to do some modifications. Maybe lubricate the springs so then I don't hear the springs? $30 for 10 gram? Oh my lord. I found an alternative. It is $9 and it has 100 grams. Heavens oh, yes, yes please. And it works on plastic as well. Unlike the other one, I can click and collect this today. Yes, I can work on it today instead of waiting for 2-3 weeks. And I like to also save money. It looks thick but in small doses it's actually really thin. And I really want to try to make a more solid sounding keyboard so I'm going to try use this anti-vibration pad. Alright, let's get started. If you're wondering how to open up a keycap, the spacebar can be a little bit tricky because it's long, but pull out from one end to the other. To get to the base, you have to unscrew all the screws. When you are removing the PCB, be sure to be really careful and gentle because the battery wire is connected to it. Now grab a screwdriver. Gently hold it on one side and with your fingers, pull it open slowly. If you haven't noticed yet, Yes, I do have foam in already. I added it in the previous video. I really hope that this can make it even more solid though. So if you're gonna use this method and use a anti-vibrational pad, yeah, you have to cut the pieces as I tried to keep it whole but it won't close properly. And then I added the box foam back in because the more the merrier they say. Okay, so I decided to lube up the stabilizers so these little black pieces don't rattle because it's quite loose. You know, the backspace, shift, and moon space. It is time! Time to put on the beautiful keycaps. Yummy, yummy, yummy in my brain. Yummy, yummy, yummy in my brain. Yeah! Each of these portfolio has their perks. The XDA is much more solid and the double shot is nicely shaped for the fingers. I personally prefer the XDA because it's a lot thicker, making the sound tucky and clunkier. And with the blue switch, it's also clicky. It all sounds like a typewriter, which I've been trying to achieve. To open up a switch, I use this tweezer that I happen to have. Using the tweezer, I pushed the clips on each side until it popped open.